So for part two of this video tutorials, we're going to make our uh, three quarter bathroom. So I'm going to do it in that same document as before, just to make it easier for turning things in. It's all together for purposes of this practice. It'll work. So I am just going to draw next to my bedroom. So I'm going to go to architecture and start with our walls. So I'm a minimum size bathroom is about five feet by eight feet um, and we're going to do a three-quarter bath so we don't need a ton of space but I'm going to see what eight by eight looks like all right and I could tell while I was drawing that these walls are the thin, thin walls. So we're going to modify our walls to be just those interior four and seven eighths. All right. Uh, let's add in our floor. And I'm going to do ceramic tile in here. And green check mark. Alright, so let's add in a door to our bathroom. So again, you can choose exactly how you want to lay it out. It doesn't have to match mine exactly. Oop, I'm just going to do a single flush. Go 34 by 80. And I'm going to stick it kind of in a corner again to save up on space. Opening into the bathroom. And yeah, so let's start laying out our fixtures. Maybe there might be room for a window. It's kind of nice to have a window in a bathroom. So we need to load some families. So let's go back to US Imperial and let's go down to plumbing to start. Architectural fixtures. All right, so um, we're going to be needing a shower, a sink, and a toilet. So let's start with showers first. So we have the shower stall 2D. You must choose family files. Oh, I'm still indoors. Okay, let's go back to modify. Um, insert code family shower stall. There we go. So that's loaded in there. Let's just grab our other plumbing things. So a toilet is a water closet, also known as. So we probably don't want commercial. So doesn't, I think these are both the same. Just one is 2D, one's 3D. So I'm going to open up that. Um, and then we need sinks. So, and with our sinks, um, so we'll have a sink that's in a countertop that's in a cabinet for our vanity. That's typically what um, that is called in a bathroom. So you can decide if you want round or square. Kind of just remember what you picked because it's going to matter later on. So I'm going to do round. All right, so we need then that countertop and cabinet also. So, and that is, if we go back to our U.S. Imperial, in casework and countertops, we'll go first. So, we have vanity countertop with round or square, so depending on what shape um, sink you did. You want that shape sink hole, so I did round, so I'm going to do round. And then we also need our base cabinet. So then there are vanity ones, so these ones look more like what you'd find in a bathroom. So if you have more space, um, this might be better. Um, I think I might just do this one. Alright, so now that all of that stuff is loaded in here, we can go to our families. Let's go casework, get those vanities in first. So this first one that I have is our um the cabinet so let's add some measurements on here 
lock that in, lock that in. Oh, that's three feet, six inches. That's how far away it is from this wall. We'll just kind of ignore that. I do want to know how long this wall is. So I'm going to measure from here to here. So four feet, seven inches. Let's see what 36 inches will fit. I'm just going to drag it over. Oh, yeah. Maybe even I'll go bigger. Let's do 42. All right, so there is the cabinet. So next is our countertop. And you can see it's kind of set at a set size, but we can move it around too because you want it to be on your actual cabinet. Move this all over. So just moving these different arrows, you can position it to be where you want. Okay, so now let's go down to plumbing. That's where everything else is. So I'm going to grab my sink. Plop that in. Uh, so then let's grab our toilet. And I'm going to throw it across from the sink. I'm going to space bar to rotate. And then our shower stall. There we go. Um, so lastly, I want to add in um, electrical outlet, our GFI electrical outlet. So I'm going to go back to U.S. Imperial. Let's go to electrical, architectural, power, terminals, outlet GFI because typically we have an outlet by the sink all right so there is our bathroom so we can go look at the 3d and you'll see it has both the rooms there Actually, I wonder if this wall height is really high again. So I'm going to go to our elevation view and let's just look at it from, I don't know, the north. Oh, nope, our wall height does look okay. All right, so actually while I'm here, I'm going to move in like these lines to get them nice and close for when we do our sheets so that things are close to each other. Let's do north and the east. All right, so let's go back to our 3D. And just like before, you can turn off a wall to hide in view. There we go. Oh, the shower doesn't show up. Um, it does on the floor plan, but not here. I guess one thing we didn't do was add in a window if you want. Um, maybe a window would be good along this wall here. Or maybe this wall. Throw it right there. All right. So um, for wrapping up, for turning this in, uh, we have a couple of sheets we're going to make. So we're going to right click and do a new sheet. And I'm going to load back in U.S. Imperial, title blocks, the B size. Okay, 
So I'm going to fill in some of this information. So owner is your name. We'll call this bedroom and bathroom. This first one is going to be our floor plans. So today's date you'd put in there. So I'm doing this on the 27th. Drawn by this fly. Again, this isn't a real complex thing, so we don't need a checker. All right, so let's bring our floor plan in. Actually, I know we're going to need to move these cameras in because they are way out there right now. So I'm just going to move these little cameras nice and close. All right, so now let's go to our floor plan. Dragon level one. I'll just throw it in the middle. So you want to make sure you have um, the dimensions in there of like your whole room size, the closet, any extra little things you think might be helpful. We got doors, windows, we got some furniture and outlets. So there is our first sheet. So let's make another one. Again, um, that B size. And this one is going to be our 3D views. So we'll bring in our 3D view. And if you hit any walls, like it stays hidden. So that's kind of cool. Um, that window might be kind of in the way, but that'll be okay. So I'm going to do that as one view. And then actually I'm going to do a rendering. Also, so I'm going to get this positioned just how I want, and maybe I will hide this window. And then you're going to click the little teapot down on the bottom. I'm going to go with medium and render. All right, so there's that. Um, in later tutorials, I'll should go over more about lighting and things like that. But um, for this, this is working. So I'm going to save this to the project. So I'm going to hit OK. Close my rendering window. Go back to that other sheet view. And I'm just going to throw this render on that same sheet. So there we go. So to save and turn in, I'm going to go file, print. Um, we're going to do selected views or sheets, and then we're going to select our two sheets. And it's also going Microsoft print to PDF. And then I want to combine multiple views into a single file. I'm going to hit OK. And then make sure you know where it's going. So right now, I'm going to throw it on my desktop so it's easy for me to find. I'm going to call it bed and bath. All right, and then you are all set to turn that in on Schoology.